I broke. Have you ever done it? I think so. Well, it got in a little bit late, but we got Ted with me filming, and we're down where me and Adrian bumped two different bucks down in this bottom uh, two mornings ago. Well, there's a, a couple little drainages that come down into here into this big bottom. There's also a lot of rock walls where obviously the deer can't come down, so I'm thinking these drainages and these points will kind of funnel deer movement up and down and then I think deer are liable to just travel up and down this creek bottom as well because that's what they were kind of doing two days ago so maybe with a little luck we'll see something It's 10 o'clock and it has been dead quiet all morning. I've only seen like one or two birds, not even a squirrel. So I think we're gonna pack up and climb down and probably do a little bit of still hunting or scouting. through the woods try to get up on top like me and Adrian did yesterday or two days ago hopefully we'll go slow enough if there's any deer out on their feet we'll maybe spot them before before getting busted maybe be able to put a sneak on one but see how that goes So that's my caliber of deer right there. That's a trophy button buck. Those are the biggest buttons you'll ever see on a buck. It's, it's a shame he died this way. Don't, don't on X and drive. It's not safe. <laughs> No deer tonight. A little bit different from yesterday. I was 
also a lot quieter and harder to move through the woods quietly, but snuck up on a good old rabbit, just couldn't quite pull off the shot. Maybe, maybe we'll see something tomorrow. So we're sneaking this creek bottom. We got a lot of room to roam. We really could go back pretty much as far as we want before we run out of daylight. So my thinking is we'll just go till we find what looks like the good fresh sign. I can already tell there's been deer in here. There's a lot of older tracks that most of them have been rained on and found one pile of droppings so far. So they've been in here, but it seems like they might not be in here right now. But like I said, we got a lot, a lot of room to roam here. Keep an eye ahead and hopefully uh, if we bump deer, we'll try to figure out how to set up on them. If we don't bump deer, we'll just get to where it looks good and maybe set up for the afternoon. saw the deer running off. It was bedded about 30, 35 yards straight ahead of us. I want to try to get right about there and hopefully we can see far enough to shoot or be able to shoot there and wait about 30 minutes because sometimes I'll circle back. Make sure I'm not going to hit you or something or hit this bush in front of me. Something was just like bigger than a squirrel was like in a hurry. this little pinch point where the woods next down to real narrow. It's only about 25 yard wide strip of woods between a river and an ag field. And we're trying to get through the pinch into the woods on the other side and, and see what it looks like. But there's some good sign. There's a good trail, fresh tracks all coming out here to the field. The only problem is I don't know if these deer are gonna be coming out later and we should be back in the woods or if they'll be coming out before dark. I really don't know. Uh, we, we were kind of hoping to get up to this next block of woods because there's a peninsula on the river where I think the deer might be safe and feel safe in bed on that peninsula and then work their way out into this field. I don't know how deep it is in there. There's a lot more tracks going this way. I just want to be closer to where they're bedded.
there's a little river bend with a peninsula that I assume they probably could bet on, but really, as thick as it is, they could bet anywhere in here. We could be close to them, or they could be way back in there still. Yeah, you smoked him. <laughs> but that swagger freaking put a hurting on him. <laughs> they cut him in two. I said if you hit him, you won't lose your swagger. <laughs> it didn't go very far, did it? Huh? The arrow? I think you, I think it stuck right in it. That's good. <laughs> my first squirrel left the battle. Hey, let's go. Nice. Let's go look for my other arrow while I can still see where it went. Except if I. If I lose track of it, I'll never find it. I don't know where the deer are, but we should still be quiet anyways. Yeah. I'm gonna go look for that first arrow, and then we'll go recover this trophy grave. You found it. My first arrow, I got my first arrow back, that's good. Talk about shot placement. So we went, went in there a little bit. <laughs> we got it in. Sweet. Well done. Hey, I'm gonna like you'll have to get back there, take a picture. Like on your phone or whatever. You do a trophy shot? Yeah, I'm gonna go way back there. <laughs> does it for this trip. Kind of wish I could stay a day longer and come back in here and try to zero in on the deer, but got to get back to real life. It's been a great trip. I was hoping we'd see a deer this evening and we hopefully might still bump some on the way out to get an idea of what they're doing. It's been a good time. Should have had a dead buck. Saw a few deer. Shot a squirrel, so I'm not coming home empty-handed. Hopefully, uh, I will see you all soon in the woods somewhere or on the water. I have a feeling I'll be fishing soon. Uh, deer season's over in Tennessee. We do have the five day doe hunt this week on private lands only, so we've got like three more days of that. If I have time between work, I might try to get out, but it's not looking likely, so till next deer season, I'll close it out with this fine looking gray squirrel.